All right, y'all. I know I'm a little bit late to the party, but um, first off, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays to everyone out there. I hope you guys are enjoying your uh, your Saturday, your your Christmas Day Eve, and your uh, Christmas Day tomorrow. But um, I, I want to get into this game. I want to give you guys my reaction to this game, and I know that I'm a little bit late, but my reaction to if I would have recorded right after the game was done and now kind of would have been the same. I'm not, you know, going to say I'm happy that we lost. I'm not glad that we, you know, didn't win this game, but I came out of this game, you know, I'm kind of in the middle. I'm not freaking pissed that we lost. Now, the way we lost is angry. A 61-yard field goal from Greg Joseph to win it, that's, that's frustrating. That's upsetting, but... The Giants showed fight today, man. The Giants showed fight. And one thing that I had said about this team for a long time is win, lose, or draw. As long as this team fights in the game, I can deal with the loss. I can deal with the loss. And this is one of those instances where I can deal with the Giants losing this game because the fight that those guys showed today, I'm cool with it, man. I'm cool with it. The Giants win against this team with freaking Fabian Moreau guarding Justin Jefferson, who's the best wide receiver in all of football. They went into this game <laughs> with Isaiah Hodgins, Richie Jackson, and Darius Slayton as the top three wide receivers. And, you know, Hodgins, I love him. I like him a lot. He makes some big plays. He made big plays today. Going up against Patrick Peterson, who's one of the best cornerbacks in the league, who's a vet in the NFL, and he made plays. And Daniel Jones, huh? Oh, the DJ haters, you can just go hide somewhere, man. I'm done with the DJ haters. I'm done coming up here preaching and repeating myself by Daniel Jones. He's going to be back in 2023. So if you, you know, if you don't like that, see, let the door hit you with a good Lord split you. Because Daniel Jones in this game had another good performance. If you watch the game, I'm not going to let that interception, you know, I'm not going to say that was a great play by DJ. It was a bad pass. And it was a great play by Patrick Peterson. He intercepted the ball. But Daniel Jones, I feel like, is the only quarterback in the NFL history that's not able to throw an interception. Because as soon as he throw an interception, oh my God, Daniel Jones threw an interception. Oh, he's done. I told you he wasn't great. You see that he threw a pick. I told you he wasn't great. But we're not going to talk about how on the biggest drive of this game for the New York Giants, he went down there and him and Saquon Barkley got it done. Saquon got it done on that fourth and two, fourth and three, ran it in. I think it was like, what, 15 yard touchdown? What a play from Saquon and on that two point conversion where the play is breaking down. He improvises, rolls out of the pocket, and throws a dart right to Daniel Bellinger over Patrick Peterson to tie the game up. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about how his offensive line let him down today when you're talking about penalties and talking about just getting their ass kicked, okay? Let's talk about that. Let's talk about how Richie James consistently dropped passes in this game. And I, I know these guys don't supposed to be in the situation. You do not supposed to be relying on Richie James to make plays for you each and every game. You don't. But even in this game still, Richie James dropped a huge play. He dropped a huge ball from Daniel Jones. And one thing that I said also, I wanted to see DJ be aggressive. I wanted to see aggressive play calling from Mike Kafka. And they did it. They did it. They threw the ball a lot. And even though I think they kind of went away from the run a little bit too much, in my opinion, but just to see them guys test that team, just to see them say, hey, DJ, we're going to give you the ball. We're going to let you throw the ball. We, Hey, wing it out, my guy. Do what you got to do. And I can respect that. Because I'm hearing everyone say they don't trust Daniel Jones, man. They don't throw the ball 50 times a game. They aren't letting him air the ball out. Well, in this game, they did that. They did that. So Daniel Jones is going to be back. I'm not going to get into the DJ haters on Twitter looking like idiots. They're idiots. They're geeks. They're nerds. They don't know football. They don't know ball. Daniel Jones will be back. And in this game, he had another great performance. Don't let that one weak interception, even though it was a bad play from DJ, you know, take away from the good plays that he had in this game. Got it done on the ground when he needed to. When the pocket, when the pocket was breaking, he got out of there. He did take some sacks because the offensive line is trash. Saquon Barkley. Another great game, you know, on that fourth down, they give, they give the ball to Saquon and he goes right into the end zone and scores a touchdown. That is what I like to see from our running back, from our superstar running back, our Pro Bowl running back, Saquon Barkley. Hodgins, who I already got on this video, I like him. He made some plays. He definitely made some plays. Still, again, not a guy you want consistently out there trying to make plays for you. We don't have A.J. Brown. We don't have Justin Jefferson. Y'all know Justin Jefferson's on the other team, right? 
Daniel Jones is going out here with these guys each and every week, and he's in these games. He should have won this game. The offense around him kind of let him down in this game, believe it or not. Um, let's get to the defense. Ojolari left the game with a sprained ankle. Um, I'm seeing tweets and I'm seeing things saying that it shouldn't be nothing long term, which is great, but it sucks that we we just we just were getting a little bit of taste of it. Of that four or that or those of the fabulous four, the fantastic four with Dexter Lawrence and Kayvon and Leonard Williams and Ojolari and boop, an injury. Right on the play where he got a sack. Oop, sprained ankle. Nope, we're gonna take that away. The injury god said nope. Mm-mm. Nope. Yeah, we're going to give you a taste of what it can be, but we're going to just pull it back just a little bit more. But um, I think Wink Martindale, on that last drive, when he was sending all the blitzes, all the heat, it bit us. It bit us. And, you know, who knew that Greg Joseph was going to be one of the other kickers that makes a 60-yard field goal to win the game versus the Giants? Jake Elliott, Graham Gano, who would, without him, we wouldn't have been in this game. Shout out to Graham Gano. Freaking awesome kicker for us um the Giants lost the Giants are 86-1 but the Lions lost to the Panthers got steamrolled by the Panthers actually um I want to say the Seahawks lost which they did they lost to the Chiefs and as of I'm recording this video the commanders are tied up 7-7 with the uh San Francisco 49ers I'm going to predict that the 49ers finish that game out and they win that game hopefully but um on to the Colts on to the Colts I feel like after seeing this game my expectations is not to the Giants blow out the Colts. We can't always bank on a, you know, a Giants to just blow out teams. We don't blank on that. Definitely with the weapons and the, the way our roster looks right now. We can't just say, we're going to go into Indy and we're going to just send them to the Gulag. Not going to say all that, but I do expect the Giants to uh, beat Indianapolis next week. I do. I, I really do expect that. Um, my final thoughts. I think Daniel Jones had another great game, man. I think Daniel Jones had another great game. And I'm kind of glad that none of the people who watch my videos, I have, I have a few of them that be on DJ's, on DJ's ass for no reason, but majority of the people that watch my videos, they're intellectual people. They're smart people. They know ball. They call out DJ when he's, you know, when he's in the wrong. And they, hey, when it's time for them to be actually right about DJ, they're right about Daniel Jones. So I don't think we're going to have to go in the YouTube comment section and argue about DJ and his, about, the, uh, you know, about this game. But DJ balled out today. End of discussion. End of story. Not much else to be said. He's going to be back in 2023. And if you can't handle that, there's 31 other teams in the NFL you can root for. You don't got to root for this one. You don't got to root for this one if you don't want DJ to be back in 2023, which I think he will be back. Um, Saquon had a great game. It was impactful. And, you know, the wide receivers, man, we can't bank on these guys each and every week. Even though we do, you don't want to be banking on these guys each and every week to make plays for you. And Dodgins is good. I love Isaiah Godgins. I think he should be back. Uh, he's a pretty. He's a. He was a. He's a gym. He was a gym for sure. But um, that's my thoughts. The Giants lose to the Indianapolis Colts. Indianapolis Colts. Giants lose to the Minnesota Vikings, twenty-four to twenty-seven. Um, leave down below in the comment section your thoughts. I'm gonna finish up watching this in it. Uh, this Philly game, Dallas, twenty to seventeen. As we're watching, Eagles are up. But that's gonna do it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, make sure you comment, and make sure you hit that subscribe button. And until then, it's been your boy Jay Dimes, and I am out. Merry Christmas and go Giants.